Hi and welcome back to Toby's Reader Skills with Toby. That's me. In today's video, we'll talk about the Le City. This one, whoop. Le City 30 amp smart battery charger. And as you know, Le City does make a bunch of different products, and I've reviewed already. I made videos about it, modified them, and stuff like that. Still, there's more to come, especially um, the new gen battery box. There's something I need to modify here as well in the future. So stay tuned for that one. This video will purely talk about the charger from AC to DC. And that means this smart battery charger is capable of multiple things and does come with multiple things. So let's start with that. What's included in the package? A manual, the charger itself. On the one side, it has the normal household plug in a pretty sturdy, thick wire. On the other side, that's pretty cool, and that's also something which I did in the past with my battery charger. I did cut them, and then I did add in, correct, 50 amp Anderson connector. And you think, great, that's amazing, but there's even more. It does come with those clamps, which are connecting or just plug and play into the Anderson connector, or you can have a more constant connection with this wire, which is which is an Anderson connector, and then you can bolt it, screw it onto your battery or your terminal, whatever you want to put it on. But that's pretty nice, that's pretty sweet, and that's just what's included in the package. Now, let's try and talk about what we can see here. There's a charger, and I try to make it a full picture for you guys. Let me plug it in. And then the other side is connected to nothing at the moment. All right, there we can see the full charger. And you can see it's made by LCD. They put a no logo on it. Power this moment. We talk about a model, about a model, Lee dash SBC twelve twenty four thirty. When we talk about the charger, this one thirty amp smart battery charger. We'll get to the smart function hopefully later. But talking about twelve volt, twenty four volt auto identification, which is nice. It has, and that is really nice as well. It combines up to four battery types, lithium ion phosphate, which we'll focus in this video. Then we have HAM, gel, and lead acid. And then we have six different charging currents. And since this is a 30 amp charger, that's the highest possible current we can push through. But you have 5 amp, 10, 15, 20, or 25. According to the information here is the AC input, battery charge. This one can do up to 14.6 volts or up to 29.2 volts with a maximum of 30 amp. The, the plastic here is almost overlapping, so it would have been nice if they moved the, the entire writing just a little bit, you know, more inwards. But uh, you can still read it, we'll cut off. Then it has some certifications, hopefully the good ones, and it's made in China. Then we have more controls over here, and that's something we need to talk about. Um, one thing which is amazing about this unit is when you turn it off, or you charge something, you have set it up, and then you turn it off, it goes back to the last or previous settings you used, which is really nice, and I enjoy it a lot. What we're going to do, we'll just, you know, when I click on M, I'll cycle through the different modes, click it, and then it takes a short second. With the A, you can see here on the current, I hope, wait a second, let me, I hope you can see it here. You can change the current you want to charge it with. And it always takes a little second. There we go. And right now, CV. And here's CV, charging voltage. This is what should be. It changes between 40 and 50. I don't know why that is. At the moment, nothing connected, not even the Anderson connector. And then we have charging current. So it should be the actual amount, right? So I'm doing now, I'll connect this unit and I will change between display and this display. Going back and forth just to see what we're reading and then I also have a multimeter too. That means I'll connect now. Battery is connected, it's a 12 volt battery. Right now the LED changed from red to uh, from green to red. So we did set it up to 30 amps with lithium ion phosphate. We can see battery voltage should be now at 14.6. That's what it should charge. 
at least that's the car, uh, that's the voltage which the battery charger uh, tries to push out, and we see the current which is actually charging the battery with. So that means right now you can see it says up to 30, and that means I want to check it. Looking at the display, we are at 29.40, and of course we want to test this if that is accurate or not. So that means here measuring. We had 30.7. At least that's the current what's going, as you can see here, I'm, I'm at a, right at the Anderson connector. That's the current which is going into the smart chant. And then of course the smart chant also leads a little power. And then this should be going into the battery. 30.9, 31, oh, it depends on how I bend the wire and how I touch it. So there is some interference probably happening right now. But we are definitely at a 30 and above, which is good to see. So I would say the 30th setting is working well, but that's not all. Let's see if we can change in the middle. Hitting A, nothing's happening. Hitting A again, nothing's happening. Pressing M, nothing's happening. All right, so don't take my word for it, but I'll show it to you. I'll unplug the charger, so whoop. We have to charge a cable here, the power supply to it, and I'll plug it back in. Now we can see it should go back 30 and lithium ion phosphate. Now I can change it to 5, 10. Oh, I can change it in the middle even. That's nice. Okay, that didn't work earlier. Interesting. So there's some lag in that regard, but um, so I had a problem really already. When it was charging longer, I needed to unplug and plug it in, back in, and then uh, change the setting or unplug it from the battery. So let's see, 5 amp. Let's double check. We see 4.7 amps going in, but we do see also 4.78, so a little bit more. And of course, uh, the battery, it's 4. Point, it's 4.7. Be careful, 4.7.5. That's pretty close. That's pretty, pretty close. Let's change to 10. Yeah, now I can't change it anymore. So I guess at the beginning you can change it. As soon as you plug it in, uh, as soon as it's running for a little bit, you cannot change it anymore. So what I'm doing now, unplugging, plugging back in, and changing it to 10 amps. There we are, 10 amps. Now we can see we have 10.10 .10 going in, 10.3, a little more good, and we have what's actually getting the battery, 10.4, 10.3. It's also a little bit more than the display shows, so there's some interference for sure. Um, probably the wire, maybe it's too much metal at the same area where I measure, so please uh, take it with a grain of salt, but it is very close, which is what we want to see. And it might also depend on all the components I'm using, so. All right, let's do it a few more times.
Okay, that's basically all I wanted to see. And it, it's really nice to see that actually. So let me turn it off really quick. Turn it back on. Let's cycle through this connector over here on the battery side. When you hit gel, 14.4, lead acid is with 14.8. So lithium ion phosphate, 14.6. So you see the voltage is different from what it should charge. So that's definitely good to see. When connected a gel with 14.4. Nothing can happen with the battery, so it's not destroying it when you charge it now. But please use the appropriate chemistry with the charger when you set it up. It's quite important, otherwise you might damage your battery and you don't want to do that. But here you can see it, it works right away. I used it a bunch of times already and the behavior is always the same. As soon as it's full, it will stop and it will try to maintain the 14.6 and it sometimes turns back on and checks it and then it's off, it's pretty quick. It's pretty nice. Um, I do like the 30 amp. I like that it is made with beefy wires. They're really, really thick. The wires they use on, on those adapters, just to give you also an idea. Just to give you an idea, I feel like, uh, I, think that those, I think those are eight gauge wires, just to understand the max current which is going through. So those wires you should not use with too high end of the current. Just keep that in mind. So speaking about a smart functionality here, it doesn't have Bluetooth. It does have smart in terms of the auto identifying if there's a 24 volt battery connected to it. We'll check that one out. Okay, so this should give you really peace of mind. I have a little battery pack over here, which is a 24 volt battery pack. This, you can see. 26.7, pretty full pack, regardless of state of charge. Let me connect everything properly for you. So right now we see battery voltage 14.6, that's how it should charge, right? So I wanna see what's happening, cause it says it's auto recognizing. So we are connecting, whoop. Here we can see CV is at 26 and nothing's happening as of now. All right, let's disconnect it for power because it usually saves the last information, but still has power, there we go. I'll connect it again in here and in here. I'm curious what it says. There we go. Now it identifies battery voltage, 29.2. So it realizes, hey, I do have a 24 volt pack here. So I do need to change my charging current, which is 29.2 for a 24 volt pack. And then we can see at the moment it's at, it was, now it's at 30 amp, that's the charging current it should be. And current, current is 27. So the battery is pretty full already. Has a high state, high state of charge, but it does charge with the power of 27. So I wanna check that if that is accurate. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here's the wire. I'll go ahead. 10 point, okay, it's dropping right now. All right, <laughs> perfect. Um, so now you see the case that the battery is fully charged, which means it does stop at one point. And you saw it's a 10 here. So battery is full, so that means really it stops and starts. So light is green. Zero amp is going in. And that's pretty much it. So now you also see the case, it's fully charged. So what's happening? It just tries to stay and reduce the amperage if needed to get the highest possible state of charge. As always, my summary. And today we're looking at Lycidis 30 amp battery charger. They call it smart battery charger. Keep that in mind. It's smart in terms of auto identification if it's 12 volt or 24 volts, which is great. It does keep the settings you had previously used. So that's also nice to see. Um, and right now I, I'm just on the website and here's a screenshot as well. Uh, they, sell, they sell it for $138. And check also down in the description below. There is a link with a little discount as well, which they provide me, uh, which I wanna give to you in case you wanna buy this one. 
So I had a few videos, there's another one, other brand, for 20 amp, and there's another one also, I'll try to link them also here in the video, with 40 amp. And both do work as intended, and I have to say the 40 amp is more expensive than this one here, as much as I remember at least, and it only is for the chemistry of lithium ion phosphate. This one has multiple chemistries, um, preset voltage, charging voltage, which is really nice to see. And I think that's, uh, in terms of value money, it sounds pretty good. So I think it's nice to see that unit. It's uh, not overly heavy. It's something you can have, uh, you can continuously just let run, but um, it will always go on and off when you have it connected as kind of a power source, at least when it's topping up and at the, at the end um, of charging. So I don't know how that performs as a power source just itself. So I, I'll be using it as a charger for my car battery if I need to, or uh, so it's an AGM usually, and uh, lithium ion phosphate batteries, 12 volt and 24 volts. That's amazing, and it works great out of the box. And one thing I want to mention here, here's a screenshot. You can see they specifically designed this charger that it can be used with a Lycidi battery box or Gen 2 battery box, as you can see here. So in the background, that's the Lycidi Gen 2 battery box or battery generator. So that is actually nice to see. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this charger. Uh, I have controversial information about Lycidi from different viewers, which is on the one hand, great products, and at least the ones I had. And when I had some issues, they were pretty fast. I also had times when I wanna something information wise or whatever, they never respond. So that is the experience a lot of my viewers had, which you have to take with a big, big crane of salt. <laughs> so it's not only a crane, it's a lot of salt. <sighs> Do you wanna actually go down the road, down the path? Because it's a separate website. You have, you're relying on them. I would recommend buying with PayPal or credit card, or whatever, just to make sure that you received the product you bought. There's no issue with that. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you had issues, what do you think about it? Would you buy it? Would you rather go with a brand, with a US brand, for example, or your local brand, whatever? Really curious about that and also price-wise is that a competitive price or not thanks for watching Cheers.